you P3 gals and pals out there in, in the world. It's, it's Blake. It's Shannon Blake. And it's the day after the, the Puddles concert. And uh, I'm plumb tuckered out. I'm worn out, worn out. We didn't go to bed last night. We uh, Puddles concert was just off the charts. There's a lot of new new material. And um, as a VIP, it was my first VIP experience. And wow, it was just, it was phenomenal. It was amazing. Oh, man, we felt the love. The sing-along, uh, the Beatles song yesterday. Oh, oh, everybody in the room was singing. It was just, it was, it was just, it was beautiful. I, um... I had a great time with my buddy Robbie. He's he's a blind fellow that um, Miss Vivian hooked up and showed to Donna, and um, he got to interact with puddles. He he kind of he got a little kind of got a little carried away there, hooping and hollering. He did it when he I forget what song it was that morphed into Billy Idol's Rebel Yell. Old Robbie was rebel yelling, and oh, you can see puddles looking over there. I'm like, did you just do that? And, oh man. It, I think Robbie could sense him looking at him because he was smiling knowing he was getting a reaction. He's completely blind, but he, it was just a magical show. And then after the concert, I had a concert at my house where all the P3 bunch and um, Cadillac Attack was there. And, oh, man, it, we tore it up, y'all. Uh, Spencer Miles on the piano and then uh, Jimmy Ray on his... His guitar, and he, he's, a, he's a guitar teacher at a music store here. That's what they do for a living. And then Todd, the band leader, oh, man, they, they, Spencer never played with them boys, and he didn't, they didn't have no music in front of him. He just put in his air out there, and he just went right along with it. And, uh, that, that, and Jimmy Ray, just, he's, he's magic on the guitar. What he did on that guitar, the two solos was, um, uh, Oh my God! I think the women wet their panties. It was that good. It, I I I had to get up there. I was dancing around, and showing my butt off. It was just it was just wonderful. I mean, rip, it was wonderful. And uh, heck, we stayed up to four or five o'clock in the morning talking. I made my P three ice cream. That's coffee and donuts ice cream. And I made all these uh, uh these vegan sliders. You know, I didn't know if Mike was going to show up. No, he they had to get on the road because they got it like a nine to ten hour drive. And I had to get set up and get to the hotel room, and it's, it's a logistical mess. That uh, um, but he uh, he he appreciated the invite. Um, but the sliders, the veg, the vegan sliders. Oh my goodness gracious, they were oh my god, they were good. Um, everybody loved the food. Um, the the even the hunch punch was good. And uh, they all went outside and hung out with the, uh, my cow number ninety nine. He's a queer stare. He's a miniature bull. That was uh, neutered and dehorned, and I bought them for my uncle who had Alzheimer's a few years back. I didn't know the cow was going to live 45 years, so, so Cornelius will probably out outlive me. And uh, but he's like a pet, and his best friend's Milo, the barn cat, and they're they're uh, they're like boyfriends, you see. And uh, everybody got to pet the cow, got a cow lick on the face and the ears and the head. And uh, I don't know what that's going to do to them in their dreams, but uh, Cornelius, he's a magic cow. <laughs> that was cool. And uh, they all drank and ate lots of good food. Um, they got to eat my pepper cookies, the sugar cookies with black pepper in it. It's good. I call them butt tooth cookies because they'll bite you back. <laughs> and uh, it was just it was just a wonderful time, but I am tired. Uh, yeah, today I had to take Jennifer uh, to the beach so she can uh, put her feet in the sand and collect some seashells and get some pictures with uh, uh, Yancey Spencer, who's a famous surfer here. He's dead now. They have a bronze statue, a bronze statue of him. And uh, and then we ran around. I showed them all the downtown and whatnot, and um, I showed them some old neighborhoods and some ghost houses. And um, and then I took her to the airport, and I poor Miss Vicky Monica. She uh, she's uh, in the bedroom, completely passed out right now. I um, uh, I'm winding down, uh, y'all. I'm really, I'm winding down. I, I need to go up. Uh, I need to go have a shower, and uh, for the second time, and uh, go to bed. I want to go to bed for for quite a while and just sleep it off. And um, I. 
my father-in-law's not doing good, and, and uh, I, th I really thought he was going to die. And uh, wait, wait, last night, that bad. I mean, he's been in the hospice for a while. The music put life back into him. He's sitting up, drinking water, playing, fiddling with a remote control, watching television, smiling. It's amazing how music can do that to a soul. It's like medicine. Medicine for us humans that we really need. And it, it was just a magical night. Most wonderful of Puddles VIP experience with incredible after concert, concert, um, all the P3 pal gals and, and gal pals. No, I think I said that wrong. Gal pals, yeah. And the buddies, um, we, we, we tore it up last night. It was just beautiful. So, uh, I hope y'all, uh, Get to see some pictures. I, I I didn't take too many of them. I was hoping other people did. I mean, I've got my my, my puddle cuddle picture. <laughs> you know, it was it was awesome. Thank you, puddles, from the bottom of my heart. I love you, man. I really do. But um, y'all y'all take care. And uh, I'm not gonna be on Facebook for a little while because uh, I'm passing out, and I'll probably be gone for about oh, I don't know, 48, maybe 72 hours. I don't know. The puddle experience, it just, uh, it was intense. I, I, I'm just, and, and now I have to unwind. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, y'all have a good day.